Hello everyone and welcome to Math Mantra. Today in this video we will talk about a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now we may have used this equation in past but today we are going to talk about how can we go about proving the equation a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times the a minus b. So without further ado let's get started. So as we know if we have to go about explaining it or proving the equation mathematically we can go simply by a square minus b square and then we can add a times b and deduct a minus b and then we can come in the first two lines uh, first two terms we can take out the a and the second two terms we can take out the minus b essentially once we take the a common out from the first two terms the in bracket we will get a plus b and in the second bracket after we take out negative b we'll get a plus b the reason why we get plus b out of minus b square because we take out not just one b but also the negative sign right so then we go about taking the a plus b common out on the left side and then whatever remains outside the bracket essentially becomes another bracket which is a minus b so it's pretty simple to prove a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b right now but in this video we're going to talk about how can we go about visually showing that it holds or how can we go about visually representing that's how easy it is to prove with the shapes that a square minus b square is actually b a, exactly a plus b times the a minus b the reason i like graphical representation or or visual proof is because it's just more convincing in my opinion so let's get started showing with the shapes how can we prove a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times the a minus b so in order to prove a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times the a minus b let's draw a line segment a let's draw another line segment and call it b now let's copy these line segments and rotate it 90 degree and put exactly aligning the left top corner after copying these line segments on the left aligning vertically let's name them a and b let's copy these line segment to the right and let's copy these line segment down as well so as you can see the square on the left essentially is a square and square on the right with the light brown color is basically the with the side b and essentially the area of that square is b square right now let's overlay these in order to prove a square minus b square so as you can see we overlay these shapes one on top of each other with aligning the left top corner of these shapes right now the blue is the a square and the light brown is basically the b square right it aligns on the left top corner so let's put the line segments first let's call the line segments along the lines of b square as the length b on each direction right so that's b and the b and now as we also know the square a is basically having the sides a on both sides and the hence the a square right so let's put them down as well line segment a vertically as well as horizontal now what's left after the line segment b it'll along the length of a is essentially a minus b right so let's name them as well a minus b let's focus on what's on the left side of the equation right now once we focus on that as you can see it's a square minus the b square so if you zoom out you just imagine a square is essentially the blue square right and the b square is essentially the brown square right so what we are looking to present here is basically that hatched area in the green you see this hatched area inverted l shape right that's the area we're trying to find out because that essentially is a square minus the b square right what's left after putting the b square on top of the a square is essentially the inverted l shape right so let's remove the hatch so that we can focus on the to the area inverted l let's divide that 
area into two, two pieces. So let's draw a line right at the bottom of the square B. So now let's try to present that red, I'm sorry, that green area. And how can we go about calculating the area of those greens? So it's pretty simple, right? The length of green small rectangle is B because it's basically parallel to the B square, uh, square right? It aligns with that. So the length of that small red rectangle is B and the width is A minus B, right? So A minus B times the B. So that essentially accounts for the area of the small green rectangle, right? Now let's add to that rectangle is another area of the rectangle that is laid horizontally, which is longer rectangle, green in color. And that area is essentially the length of the area is A. Why? Because it aligns and fits exactly within the A square, which is a side A. So the length of that rectangle is A and the width of that rectangle is basically A minus B. So then we add that area as well. And that area is A minus B times the A. So again, let's start. A square minus B square is basically inverted L shape, right? So the total area of inverted L shape is A minus B times B plus A minus B times A. So now, Let's basically common out A minus B. So once you take the A minus B common out, whatever is outside the parenthesis of A minus B essentially goes in another parenthesis and adds them together. So B plus A. And as you know, A, B plus A is essentially A plus B. Let's reverse them. So basically A minus B times A plus B. And since the multiplication of one number to other and other to that first number is essentially the same the order of multiplication doesn't matter let's reverse them and call it a plus b times a minus b easy isn't it that's exactly what we were trying to prove on the right side as you can see so now we started off a square minus b square and we were easily able to prove it's basically a plus b times a minus b and that is the visual proof that i was referring to beautiful isn't it easy isn't it so if you like these kind of videos please subscribe to our channel and hope to see you soon in the next video